Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a card game using Unity. This is part 3 of the how to make a card game, so if you are new and don't know where to start, check out part 1 and part 2 in the description that are in the top right corner. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a scoring system and a crash screen. First, let's create our scoring system. To do this, first create a canvas by right click in the hierarchy, UI, and select canvas. And now you will see that if you zoom out, you can see a 2D object like this and it will represent our screen. So for example, now I want to create a scoring system or something else you want to create. You just need to create another UI named text and then you can, I will name it score and then I can make it bigger by changing the font size well, let's make it a hundred and you also want to change the text box size by question T and now as you can see there's a text like this and all right now let's make it in the top of our screen because we want to to be our score and now if you look at our game view you can see that our new text is in our screen and let's set it to center and let's delete all content in it now let's create our score system first right click in the assets and create a new c -sharp script let's name this score system and hit enter now let's open the script. So first we want to access our UI which is our text box and change the value in it. So to do this you need to add another like line right here say that using unity engine dot UI dot UI like that and now we want to public game object score label to get our score label that we just created and we also want to have a variable name start timer so float start timer all right and when start actually we don't need the start method and here we want to set our start timer or just timer I don't think we need the start timer just timer and we will set it to our time dot time which is the value of when the like the duration of the project running for example if you run the project for five second time not time will be five and now we to access the text of the score label we want to score label dot get components and here we want to get the text component and normally you you can't see the text components and it's because we have the line using unity engine dot ui and now we want to access our text so dot text and equal to our timer so that our score is corresponding to our timer but yes you can see there's an error right here that cannot convert float to string and to fix this you need to add a dot to string and there you go and now if you come back to unity and test the program And now you just need to drag our score system to our canvas or anywhere you like and add the score label right here. And now if you run the program, you'll see that you see a bunch of decimal like this. And to fix this, you just need to go here and you use the math f. So math f dot round and you want to round our timer 
and let's come back to our program let's test our program again and now you should see that our number is round up and there's no more decimal perfect now let's create our crash screen and to do this let's go to our back to our canvas create an empty object let's name this crash screen and you want to create some text in it so first let's create a panel so ui panel and let's name this bg which is the background and let's make it and to make the, the unity 2d view you can just click on like that and now you can easy to modify the ui easier for you to modify a ui and let's drag it to the bottom corner to the top corner and change its background to black so that we have a little like dead screen or crash screen and now we also want to have some text so right click and create another UI text name this crash text or label we want to do the same so the text is you crashed and let's make it bold and 100 in font size like that and you also want to change the color to white so that you can see it easier let's make it in the middle of the screen like that and now to activate this, you just want to go to our health script. So now we want to check if our health is equal to zero. So void update if car health is equal to zero, then we want to set our set our Cross screen to true, so let's just create a variable right here named public game object crash screen and crash screen equal true. You and for the future video where that there's a respawn, you want also want to you also want to set our car health back to. 10 so like that all right and we also want in our start method that the crash screen always set active to false and go back to uni and start testing Wait, so let's put our script. Where's our? All right, let's put our cross screen into that, and I should work. All right, now let's test it by start crashing into stuff. Oh, all right, wait, let's just set it to freeze rotation for easier testing and as you can see we have our crash screen another thing I want to add in is to set our time dot time scale equal zero this will make our game completely pause when we crash and to set it back to normal, just set our time scale to 1. And that's it.
This is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy. And in the next video, we are going to show you guys how to make a respawn button, a health bar, and more. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.